Hey YouTube, it's Jazz and I'm back with video number two and this video is going to be kicking off my Back to the Basics series where I'm just basically going to be talking about all the basic things you need to know or learn so that you can be beat. Ah, that glow, honey. Can we just for a second? Just, oh. Anyway, so that you can be beat and just on your best BS. I'm trying not to cuss. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to walk you through the steps of my skincare routine and show you guys what I do, what I use, and yeah, so let's get into it. So, to remove this beautiful beat, <gasps> you know, as a long day of work or whatever, normally I don't wear makeup, especially, well, normally I don't wear makeup to work. Um, you know, because I work in the hospital and stuff like that. So, I ain't nobody that to be cute for. But to re start removing my makeup, I actually take um, coconut oil. And coconut oil pretty much melts away all the makeup on your face. It breaks apart even the hard to get stuff like the water waterproof. Because if you ever sweat it, you know that that's not really waterproof. I mean, I be sweating, so... Anyway, but it burns all your makeup down and makes it way easier for you to remove. So I have jars, yes, jars with an S of coconut oil that I use for like everything under the sun. But I normally just scoop some out and I stick it into like a little glass like this and then that way the whole jar doesn't get nasty and I can just take and scoop it out of this little cup thing and rub it on my face and it'll break my makeup down but before I do all of that I had to take these lashes off which I don't really want to do but I'm gonna take these lashes off first it feels so good it's almost like taking off your bra <laughs> uh, okay so first I took the lashes off and then I'm just gonna take the coconut oil and begin to like rub it on my face just to break the makeup apart so i wanted to do a video the back to the basics series video starting with skincare because skincare is a lot more than just like washing your face you know there's more that goes into it especially when you get into wearing makeup because there's a stigma that makeup breaks you out, it clogs your pores, and that's not true as long as you're doing what you have to do to like properly remove your makeup and wash your face and stuff like that. Like I don't have perfect skin, but I don't break out like talking about it. And that's because I make sure that I wash my face like the right way every day. So, no man, I look like a piece of fried chicken. Popeyes to be exact. Oh, don't forget your eye makeup. Because sometimes this is like the hardest part to remove. And don't worry about the coconut oil getting in your eye. That's what you have eyelashes for. And nine times out of ten, if, even if it does, it's not going to bother your eye. So, we're just going to rub that on to remove all of this makeup and rub that in pretty good I'm trying to get a paper towel child cause I'm making a mice child alright so we're gonna wipe that off my hands cause it's pretty gross and then the next thing I do is I go in with my makeup. Oh, y'all can't even see it. Anyway, I go in with my makeup removal wipes. I use the simple ones because they are better than the Neutrogena ones. I don't care. Fight me. I said it. But they're better. And they're a lot more gentle. So, I'm just going to wipe it off. Look at that. L look at that. Hmm, <clears throat> honey. Coconut oil first is the truth and if you have dry skin it's going to even help like moisturize your skin before you wash your face i don't have dry skin though i have oily skin 
make sure you guys are buying stuff that is for your skin type like don't just buy it because you see anybody buying it if you have sensitive skin you need to buy stuff for sensitive skin if you have dry skin you need to buy something that says hydrating for your dry skin if you have oily skin you need to buy something that's like mattifying for your oily skin and that's like all the way across the board so as far as your foundation you don't want to put a hydrating foundation on oily skin because then you're gonna look like i just did a few clips ago like a piece of popeye's fried chicken so we're just gonna wipe the rest of the stuff off our face As you can see, I'm back to regular me. <laughs> back to regular me. I'm still cute as fuck though. <laughs> oh, I just said I'm gonna stop cussing. My bad. Okay, so after you've done that and you've removed your makeup with your coconut oil and your makeup removal wipe, you still have plenty of makeup on your face. Even though it might look like you got it all, it's still there you still need to wipe it off or wash it off rather so with that being said I don't use a washcloth to wash my face unless it's in the morning and in case you do not know or nobody ever told you you don't use the same washcloth that you use to wipe your or wash your behind with to wash your face not wipe you don't use the same one it's nasty think about all the stuff that's on your butt and other parts of your body that you're going to be putting all over your wonderful beautiful face just just let that sing in just just let that sing in so with that being said i normally don't use um a washcloth i use a clarisonic yes i said clarisonic for those of you who don't know what that is it's a face brush and it runs you anywhere from a hundred to like two hundred and fifty dollars no i did not pay two hundred and fifty dollars for mine i think i paid like 125 maybe it was like on sale so um i've had it for about two years and i just basically wet that and i oh let me show let me show you what it looked like it looks like this it's a little face brush so yeah um basically i just wet that and then i put my cleanser on right now I'm using the tea tree line from the body shop I bought this on the strength of Shell Hendrix it's supposed to be for oily and acne prone skin I'm not acne prone but like I said I am oily so I do I really love this and she was like right so I turn it on and at first there's not going to be any bubbles but when I turn this around and show y'all how much makeup is on this brush head, it's kind of gross. Because you think you got it all, but you didn't. You did not get it all. And the thing about the Clarisonic that I really love is that it comes with, well, does, it comes with two brush heads normally. Like a regular one and then like uh, one for more sensitive skin. But there are so many different brushes you can buy with the color that, that goes with the clarisonic and then i don't know if you can hear it i'm gonna see if i can catch it but there's two speeds on this and it beats when it's time for you i missed it uh it beats when it's time when it's time for you to move on to a different section of your face that i don't pay that no mind i don't pay that any attention so look oh my god can y'all see it no you can't I'm gonna take a picture. It's disgust. Oh, catching it. All that is still makeup. So I wash my face twice when I'm wearing makeup. Whenever I wear makeup, I wash my face twice. Because that first round obviously did not get all the makeup off my face. There were like no bubbles. And you know how you can just tell, like, when you're skin is clean like you can just tell everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about I can't really explain it but you know when you feel dirty and you just like I need a bath your face is gonna feel dirty and it's gonna feel like I need to wash my face I'm gonna wipe this off 
Now, normally I'm in my bathroom where I have a sink, obviously, but for the purpose of this video, I'm using these two little tiny bowls that have hot water in them just because I'm trying to show y'all. Not that anybody really knows how to need to learn how to wash their face, but there's extra steps that I do that everybody might not. It's going to speed through the second parts because you don't really need to do that, and then I'll come back when. I'm finished, but you'll definitely see like way more bubbles. Uh. Okay, so now that I'm back from doing the second wash of my face my hair is in the way and normally my hair would be pent back but trying to be cute <laughs> you know I'm trying to be cute now my face is like completely rinsed off and clean and it feels amazing I'm trying to get my towel so I can drop my face and you also don't dry your face with the same towel that you dry your behind with but for all these reasons well, this is my top of my face. I don't need to top anything else other than my face. I'm very particular because, like, germs and dirt is what causes you to break out. Okay? It's the cause, people. So, next, I, after I wash my face, I tone. Um, if you don't know what a toner is, a toner is basically something that you use and it helps deeply penetrate your pores and open them up so that like your serums and your moisturizers can get in there and really do their job. Toners are really important because they also help exfoliate. I do exfoliate, but I only exfoliate like every other day. I don't exfoliate every day because you don't need to. Oh, anyway, I'm going to tone. So I just take a cotton round, one of these, and I soak it with the toner. This is also all in the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil line for oily skin. The Body Shop has pretty much what every skin type needs, you know. Um, and also, if you, it's very affordable. So if you don't want to spend a bunch of money, go to the Body Shop not bath and body works i know a lot of people think that bath and body works and the body shop are like so similar or either the same thing they're really not the body shop has like everything underneath the sun for your body stuff for eczema for your face psoriasis all kinds of stuff so you want to go check that out google it find out where your closest body shop is go in there and tell them what you're looking for they will be happy to help you if you look online the body shop does have like different kits that have a bunch of different things in there where you buy it as a bundle instead of buying it individually and that way you won't spend a ton of money because an individual bottle of certain things can cost you anywhere from like 10 to 25 dollars but if you buy it in a bundle you get it like way cheaper girl so if you're trying it out buy the bundle and if you don't like it take it back because that's what i do if i don't like it i take it back so I tone my face first Ooh. and it feels so good oh toner feel if you can't feel your toner working you need a new toner period so if I tone though I take my moisturizer and I use the Aveeno positively radiant moisturizer it's a very hydrating moisturizer now hear me out if it's the daytime i do not use moisturizer because i'm oily and if i do you gonna tell i'm be papa's drumstick all over again but at night i use this moisturizer no matter what so and this is also you can get this from like walmart target ulta you know basically anywhere moisturizer is not lotion do not, I mean, you can put lotion on your face, that's your prerogative, but don't go slapping lotion on your face or anything unmoisturized. 
No, a lot of lotion isn't made for your face. It's body lotion. It says body lotion on it nine times out of ten. So it's supposed to be used on your body. But if you have to use lotion, I suggest you use something that's unscented and that's meant for like sensitive skin because otherwise the fragrance and the lotion can definitely, definitely, definitely like break you out. So you want to be careful with that. We don't want no breakouts. That's the whole point of the skincare. Yeah. You know? So now that we're all moisturized and toned and washed, girl, I take an extra step because I'm extra. You do not have to do it. It is not something that you're required. You don't gotta wash your face. You don't gotta listen to me. But it's just something more that I like to do. And I take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and just spray my face like as a finisher to help lock all that moisture and stuff like that in so and this is pretty much it i let my face dry and then i, go I hope bed. you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and share down below and let me know what you think if you have any questions you can ask them talk to your girl i want to talk to y'all no you know